Okay, so two characters down. One to go, Mr. Monk over here. We have to do something involving murdering his master, apparently, so, uh. I don't know. I was looking at the Chiefs, right? And I'm a little confused because. Well, I did miss a Chief for making everybody smell like a dinosaur, but whatever, I can get over that. But, um. There's like Chiefs for seeing the darkness in everybody's hearts, or seeing the light in everybody's hearts, or something like that. But I didn't know there was other things to do, like, when you're the twins, how can you not kill your parents? So I feel like that's what you have to do. I don't know. Whatever. Let's break this bridge. Can I actually go this way? Let's see. The door of enlightenment can be opened only by the one true master. So we need the master to open that. Or the monk needs to become the master, which I'm thinking is what's going to happen. Can we not break this? Oh, I know, I know. Gonna use his powers of telekinesis on that support beam. Make that thing fall and kill all the people on the bridge. Because I'm not going to move them. Where's the fun in that? So this is, looks like some Mulan stuff right here, man. Or it could just fall that way. Whatever. Oh man, what's this? We are now approaching the misty, snow-capped peaks the monk desires to call home. A sequestered haven of austerity and mental rigor, where entire lives are spent in the pursuit of becoming one with the world. Of course, our telekinetically inclined friend is not quite so ambitious. He'll be happy enough simply being the one in charge, no matter what it takes. Oh, okay. Well, here we are. The tippy top. That looks like the master right there. Welcome, young apprentice. You have come far yet. Your mind is not at peace. To achieve enlightenment, you must pass the four trials of Zenness. Take this and begin your journey. It is time to embark upon the journey of the mind. To ascend, you must first descend. Remember, young monk, a light touch can have the strongest impact. Go now, okay, and cross so the Bridge of Enlightenment. The Bridge of Enlightenment, is that what my, all my, my peeps are on right now? Is that the only bridge I can think of? Man, I'm never gonna get that chief for finishing this game without dying, because I'm really bad, I just fall so much. <laughs> What am I doing? Isn't this the bridge? The lightest of things can be the heaviest. Do, do I drop the feather? You bitches, get off the bridge. Get off. How do I drop it? There we go. No, I want to drop it on the bridge. Why won't it drop on the bridge? What did I just... I just killed myself. Drop it on the bridge! To mind at peace, the lightest of things can be the heaviest. <clears throat> what the fuck? 
drag the fucking bridge. Hop! <laughs> Holy shit, one second. Okay, I'm pretty sure I fucking did this already, but what the fuck? I just had to stand everybody on there. Our enlightenment seeking trio has completed the first trial of Zenness, which I'm fairly confident is not actually a word. I'm a bit behind the technological curve down here. You know, no spell check. Okay. Does that not. Oh, I probably used that to get back out. Why do I have the hot dog still? Whatever, why not? Hot dogs are delish. Just had to move my mouse there for a second. It was in the way, for I am playing with a controller. Hillbilly, I'm gonna squish you, man. Or he's just too girthy to squish, I don't know. There we go. What now? Lotus Blossoms. Give me it. Got it. Oh. Impatient thoughts are as petals scattered to the winds. So you just want me to walk? Walk. I'm walking. Son of a bitch. Why is it windy? Close the damn window. Jesus. <laughs> Silly game. God damn it, now I still I still have to walk even after closing. You fuck! Close that shit. Okay, if this doesn't work, I'm probably have to. Maybe I can move that statue. Give me it. No. The wind is starting again. Drop what the shit balls, man. Do I turn away from it as it's blowing? Is that what goes on here? On the pedestal. No! You bitch! Damn it! This freaking pedals, man. Give me a no! That gave me no warning, it didn't make a noise of blowing or shit, man. Oh my god. This is very sensitive. that shit. Uh -huh. Voila. The monk has completed the second trial of Zenness. He seems to be tackling these challenges in good faith and the proper spirit of calm. Of course, 
Still waters run deep and very, very dark. I wouldn't consider myself calm, but... An ordered mind seeks equilibrium in all things. A sloppy mind just uses the internet. Monkpuzzle.com <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised if that's actually a thing. <clears throat> so, we want... You know, I'm actually going to check that website. <laughs> One second. I want to see if that's real. Well, look at that. That's telling me exactly what to do. Rather than loitering around forever, I'm just gonna actually do that. <laughs> Acquire the seven gallon vessel, make it full. Pour the seven gallon vessel into the four gallon vessel, make it. Acquire the four gallon vessel, make it empty. Pour the contents of the seven gallon vessel into the four gallon vessel, make the seven gallon vessel. Pour its contents into the four gallon vessel, place the seven gallon vessel on the pedestal, and for it now holds six gallons. It is done. Holy shit, okay. Seven. Full seven four four empty seven four seven four seven. Okay. Otherwise, we'd be here forever. You know what I'm saying? So we fill the seven-gallon one. Pour it into the four gallon one. So that's three. Okay. Then we empty the four gallon one. And then we pour. No, wait, no. We fill up the seven. Shit. I don't think I did that right. Okay, four. Shit! Acquire a four gallon vessel. Make it empty. Pour seven gallon into the four gallon. Acquire four, make it empty. Pour a seven gallon vessel into the four gallon vessel. Didn't I do that? Seven gallon, full. Pour seven gallon into the four. Acquire it, make, get the four, make it empty. I did that. Pour the contents of the... Shit! I filled it up again. Okay. Okay, so let me dump that. Okay. Let me pour this in. And then we get this. Why is the mouse there? Go away. We pour it in. This is six now. Look at that. Let it be known that the cave does not approve of using external sources to circumvent official tests of skill and intellect. Right. So I'll just give them the benefit of the doubt on this one. In any case, that's trial number three complete, technically. Yep, totally didn't cheat. Why would I cheat? Oh shit, I was re looking at that. I just wanted to see if there's a cave painting down here or anything. Let's be honest, if I uh, didn't use that, this video would be like 50 minutes long. Nobody wanted that. Not even me. The path to enlightenment is a journey of peace and stillness of the mind. Okay. Peace. Stillness. Okay, we're not moving. We are peaceful and we are still. We are very peaceful and we are very still. I'm getting bored. Maybe it's this one. Peaceful on this one, eh? Okay. How about this one? Peaceful on this one, eh? This one, lo this one looks like it needs to be peaced on. I didn't mean pissed, I meant peaced. It sounded like I said pissed, but I totally said peaced, you know? Hmm. 
that's our website for this one. The path to enlightenment is a journey of peace and stillness of the mind. <laughs> well, fuck that. So I'm dumb. There's a uh, there's three carpets. And apparently there's three characters in this game. Who would have thunk it, you know? Jeez. There's just a feather line here, I'll take it, I guess. I mean this guy walks like a freak. Everybody gets to be peaceful. Look at us. We're so peaceful right now. Oh, look at that. I want it. <laughs> I don't want him to get out. Get Monk wants it. Get that one too! Shit! Shit! I don't think I was supposed to grab all those, but I wanted them. And I know that there's a... There's a feather. I need this feather, because there's a cheap I can get with it. Okay, fine. I'll stop being a greedy bitch, you know? Okay. We're so peaceful right now. Yes, yeah, object, but whatever. I don't want it. It's probably not even real. Oh, look at that nice old teddy bear. I don't want it because that bitch wanted it and sh I ended up murdering her, so whatever. It's a monkey statue, I mean, come on. But, um, I do believe I know how. <laughs> Just get everybody on this carpet. Cause we're all gonna have to jump on that shit. Grab the objects of desire, man. Gotta get it. Don't want the hot dog anymore. What? Get on there. Yeah. Do need the feather though, so. Oh well. Forget the monkey statue. Hup. 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 Yeah, okay. Up there. 
and the objects disappear, so obviously it was a tarp. Oh, gee! I'm gonna look at that G, what's this say? Shit. Move up. Up, 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 up. Nope. It's not, not in here. Where's... Where'd it go? Embrace impermanence. Broke bridges. Okay. That's cool. That is the coolest of the cool. Sort of. Okay. Now we're just gonna go up that peacefully because we got the chief. It's super peaceful, like. You know? I think I come back later. Oh, I couldn't see the time traveler. She's like inside of the monk. Just gonna go up peacefully because these objects, in fact, are not real. They are just detours trying to fuck with my mind, you know? I'm just gonna enjoy a nice old sippy drink of this Bev. Uh, Mountain Dew. Let's play the Mountain Dew by Mountain Dew. Let's go buy Mountain Dew today. Perfectly go. Woo! Slightest movement, so I can't even switch characters. Is that what's going on? Well, I want to be the monk in the middle, so let's just move him over here. Okay, one more time. No moving. None moving, sir. That's right. That's why you can't go for the objects of desire. They're not real, and if you get them, you will die. There you go. Monkey statue. Such a peaceful looking monkey man. Not monkey man, I'm saying like man, that's a monkey, you know? That's what I'm saying right there. Yeah, girl. Almost there. Stay on target. Stay on target! No good, I can't maneuver! Stay on target! We're too close! Stay on target! Our deepest desires Yay. can seem so real, so crucial, can't they? But in the end, just like everything else, their glimmer fades. Surely the most worthwhile goal is acceptance of one's place in the universe. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, I think these Zen guys are rubbing off on me. Well, that's all four trials. Enjoy the fruits of enlightenment. Yay, fruits. Only in meditation does one gain the fullest view of the world. That's what she said. It doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Remember this, Apprentice. Your worst enemy cannot harm you as much as your own unguarded thoughts. Yeah. Do I go up to him now? I must have to go up to him. Down. Okay, I can go down. Where 
Where do I go? Got his bolts out. Meditate. Just do it. Nike. Oh, okay. There we are. All worldly pursuits have but one inevitable end. Destruction. Destruction. Oh, no. Oh, no. Everybody hop up there. Yep. Okay. Ignore the shit. And then we everybody hop up here. We're gonna go say goodbye to our friend the Master and become the Master ourselves. I'm so excited. I want to be the Master so hard, girl. Hello, sir. I see you understand what it is to be at peace with yourself. But be warned, a true Zen master is also at peace with the world. This is going to hurt. Yeah, I don't think that's the orthodox method for obtaining this particular position in the temple. But what do I know? I never passed comparative religion. Do you suppose the monk's companions knew what he was up to? Do you suppose he himself knew? Or was he acting out the only path he had? I have my own thoughts on the matter, and I've had more than a few millennia to weigh it over. But I'll let you reach your own conclusions. Our friend the monk's tale is nearly at an end. I feel like it was the only choice, because I don't know the other choices. Get up there. The master, and we're going back to the island. So after this, I should be done with these guys, and shall proceed. Alrighty, I'm here with my three heroes: the hillbilly, the monk, and the time traveler. I have uh, our three trinkets: Spanky. Gold Nugget and uh, the Monster Trophy. We're about to see the ending of their story. I do believe I got all the cave paintings. I don't know because I haven't been looking. But I, they're pretty hard to miss, so I don't know. But here you go, sir. Splendid! That will look nice on the shelf. I don't think its rightful owner will miss it much. Here you go. Thank you. I always wanted a teddy bear. But the lady wanted the teddy bear, but I guess I wanted the teddy bear so I could give it to the lady. Whatever. Hillbilly story coming to an end. Right at you. Live. Right now. It's not live. What am I talking about? Okay. Wait, wait, we, we want. Okay, okay, this is the beginning. Growing up hillbillies fishing with the teddy bear. Okay. It's weird. Oh, he's, his family's like ignoring him. They all, they all are very hideous. I'm glad I do not live with people like that. Oh man, oh, his childhood best friend. Oh, he loved the teddy bear. Oh, so he d he already had the teddy bear. He just loved it. He was there. Job at the carnival. He's just measuring kids. Some job there. Hillbilly's first love. Oh man, he can see like right up her skirt there. Look at that. He's getting full on view right there. Oh man. The rebuffed suitor. Oh man, he totally wants a piece of that. 
Look at her, her jumblies are just all jumbled around there. Whatever. The perfect gift to win her love. A teddy bear. He already had a teddy bear. But he loves teddy bear. I don't know. Broken heart. Oh, she's just getting on with that guy that right there. Look at him. Look at his face in the background. He's like... <laughs> and then we got the burning rage of rejection. Oh, he's lighting everything on fire. Blind rampage of revenge. How about that? Okay. His story is done. Can we take uh -huh. a postcard? Nope. Okay. What a fabulous replacement trinket. Oh, that will do just fine. Taking the thing someone else desires most was a stroke of genius. Enjoy. Okay. Now Mr. Monk here it was all about killing his master. So let's see his ending. These, these endings are just like... Most of them just, uh... Reiterate what we already know. The only one that was different was the twins. That, like, showed, uh... Them getting killed by the poison, too. Okay. So, Mr. Monk, he's... He's beginning his training up those the stairs. Young apprentice, so he's getting along with his master pretty good. Lack of balance. Ha! <laughs> That's silly. He's fallen and stuff. Lack of focus. He has two faces. He can't catch the fly. Lack of grace. Man, this guy just lacks all, all this shit, man. He can't be a monk. Lack of harmony. Oh, man. He can't boil... He can't balance the, the tea on himself. Rising anger. His hand hurts. Because he can't break a board. What a puss. A dream unfulfilled. He is not the master. Rage Boy is over, so he kicks Dragon Head. Oh, squishes the master. The Dark Master. Oh, he is the master now. Look at that. He's kick. He can't kick. He can't break a board, but he can kick a goddamn dragon statue's head off. Whatever. <coughs> You've outdone yourself on this one. After all, possession is nine tenths of the law. That other one tenth. Pfft. There you go. Okay. So this is our last hero, villain, whatever the fuck. She killed caveman that invented the wheel. What a bitch. Whatever, she's the greatest employee of all time. Let's see what her cave paintings tell us. Any day. Okay. The future. Oh my god. 2701. So this is like almost uh, slightly 700 years in the future. Well, 690 something, maybe. I'm not, I'm not doing math right now. I'm not going to do that. Arriving at work. Museum of Ancient History 1999 to 2120. Cool. Cool, cool. Greatest employee of all time. Not him. Oh, what a jerk. She wants that parking spot. The sting of accolades from co-workers. Oh, she's just... She just really wants to be the greatest employee of all time. Look at his nose. What the fuck? It's weird. Jealousy runs deep. She's cutting his pictures with a knife. A plan is hatched. She's snicking. She's like a snicker snick. A million years in the making. She has a knife. Her, his great 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 grandfather. Oh no. How did she find him? A plan is executed. Look at that monkey. She's like, he's like, damn lady, what you do? The trouble with casualty. Ca causality. Okay. It's a weird word. Never heard that before. Man, that guy changed the future so much. Well, you might think of this evening as a failure, but it was not. 
true, our friends did not learn the lessons they were meant to. They are destined to choose a path that can lead only to misery and disappointment. Not to mention a few lawsuits and possibly an embarrassing reality TV show. But I know you will leave here tonight with a new perspective on the choices to come. Someday, you yourself shall explore my mysterious depths. And when we meet again on that journey, I am confident you will make the right decisions. Because I am the cave. So here we are again. Beat the game, credits are gonna roll. I'm just gonna let it go out this time, record the rest of them. But uh, I have one character left, the scientist. I don't think I'm going to play it. I'm just gonna end the series right now. Those of you that enjoyed it, thank you for watching. If there's enough clamor to uh, play the last character, then I will. But not that many watch people watch this series at all. I think just me. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I'll play it if literally anybody wants me to. But if not, then whatever. Thanks for watching. I'm going to record the rest of the credits. If anybody wants to see those, we'll go for it. There they are. I don't know if I played the game right, because every time the ending happens, it's like, they didn't learn their lessons, blah, blah. I don't know if you can do it any other way, but whatever. I'll find out on the internet. Maybe I'll talk about it in the description. Probably not. But, uh, thanks for watching Lance Place. Peace. Yeah, and if anybody's still watching, uh, pick this game up, because Double Fine's awesome, and, uh, yeah, it was pretty entertaining. Even though you did just watch me play the majority of it, and it would be, like, nothing new for you to experience, but, you know, do it anyway. <laughs> Secret out.